All the vaccine you'll need in one single shot. MIT has developed a drug delivery method that packs multiple doses in a single injection and could soon make multi-shot vaccines a thing of the past. Biodegradable polymers used in implants, sutures, and prosthetic devices were pressed into silicone molds to form tiny cups, each measuring 400 micrometers across. The cups are filled with vaccine and covered with a lid made from the same polymer. Heat is applied to fuse the cap and lid together, sealing the vaccine inside. Varying its chemical makeup allows the polymers to degrade at specific times, though all are delivered simultaneously via a single injection. Inside the body, the vaccine is released once the cup degrades. Lab tests on mice showed the polymer cups successfully releasing their payload in 9, 20, and 41 days without prior leakage. Researchers say the new technology could benefit patients in developing nations who are often unable to travel frequently to healthcare facilities to complete their shots. It may also allow newborns to be given an injection carrying one or two years worth of vaccines, minimizing stressful, tear-filled doctor's visits for kids and parents alike. Here's more potentially life-saving technology. FDA approves device that stops gunshot bleeding in 15 seconds. The United States Food and Drug Administration has approved the civilian use of this device that can be used to stop major hemorrhaging. The XSTAT Rapid Hemostasis System was approved for use by the military last year, but now the innovative wound dressing device can be used by the general public. XSTAT 30 is a syringe filled with tiny expandable sponges that work to fill a wound and stop hemorrhaging in 15 seconds. There are 92 sponges in each syringe, but the number of sponges needed to stop bleeding varies depending on the wound. Three syringes can be used per patient. Using an XSTAT gives the patient four hours to seek professional medical attention. Sponges have radio plaque markers, so an X-ray can pick up any sponges to help in the process of extraction. According to the U.S. Army Institute of Surgical Research, 30 to 40 percent of civilian deaths by traumatic injury are the result of hemorrhaging. XSTAT is for areas of the body where it is difficult to use a tourniquet. Breakthrough Nanochip heals injuries with just one touch. Researchers at Ohio State University have developed a new technology that allows the body to generate any type of cell to help heal injuries. Tissue nanotransfection involves placing a fingernail-sized nanochip on a patient's skin, adding a droplet of genetic material, and zapping it with an electrical current. The DNA is delivered through channels created by the current, and it reprograms skin cells to turn into specific cell types that can then be used in other parts of the body. When tested on a mouse with a damaged leg, researchers found vascular cells converted from skin cells formed new blood vessels that allowed the leg to heal in two weeks. The non-invasive technology was also able to generate nerve cells in the legs of brain-damaged mice. Once the cells were harvested, they were injected into the brain to help with stroke recovery. The nanochip also tested effectively in pigs and is expected to be approved for human trials within a year. Limitless blood supply is not too far off. It's taken nearly two decades, but scientists may finally have the recipe to create stem cells, that wellspring of life and holy grail of regenerative medicine. A Boston research team programmed human pluripotent stem cells to become endothelial cells, which typically line the inside of blood vessels. These were injected with special proteins called transcription factors, then transplanted into mice. Weeks later, the cells had multiplied and in some cases formed a wide range of human blood cells in the mice's bodies. A second research team used blood cells from mice and injected them with a mix of transcription factors. The cells morphed into stem cells after incubating in petri dishes designed to mimic a human blood vessel environment. When injected into weak mice that had been treated with radiation, the stem cells regenerated both blood and immune cells. The mice recovered and went on to live full lifespans. The groundbreaking research from both teams provides hope for patients who suffer from blood cancers and other diseases. But tests need to be carried out to determine any negative effects before the procedure can go to human trials. Life-saving stroke treatment involves three-foot-long wire. 
New medical technology implemented by British health authorities could save thousands of stroke victims from disability and death. A stroke generally occurs when blood flow to a part of the brain is blocked by a clot in the vein. During a mechanical thrombectomy, a three-foot-long wire is inserted into the patient's groin and maneuvered to the clot's location. Once there, the wire deploys a stent that traps the clot and relieves the blockage. The treatment was only initially available in a handful of hospitals, but is now being rolled out across England. 3D printed ovary helps infertile mice produce offspring. Researchers have created artificial ovaries using 3D printing technology and have successfully restored fertility in sterilized mice. The artificial ovary is a 3D printed multi-layered scaffold made of gelatin, a biological hydrogel that is strong enough to be self-supporting. The scaffold is filled with ovarian follicles, which contain immature egg cells. The structure is then transplanted into infertile mice, where the follicles continue to mature until ovulation. Researchers say an ovary implant could potentially help female cancer survivors in terms of hormone replacement therapy. This seriously sticky surgical glue is all thanks to a slug slime. A team of scientists have taken inspiration from slug mucus to create a new surgical sealant that can patch up wounds even on wet surfaces. Although readily available in the market, current surgical glues are often inflexible and can have difficulty sticking well to fluid-covered human tissue. They may even be toxic to cells. In engineering a more effective medical adhesive, Harvard University researchers look to the dusky Arion slug, whose glue-like mucus secretions are made of positively charged proteins in a tough matrix. The team's version uses a water-based material called hydrogel and has two layers, a matrix and an adhesive layer peppered with positively charged polymers. The polymer forms a bond with the negatively charged cells on the tissues while being held in place and kept flexible by the hydrogel. When tested on different organs, the glue stayed intact even when applied to the curved moving tissue of a beating pig's heart. Though being touted as the future of sutures, further testing is still required, so it could take years before this new bio glue can finally heal human wounds.